Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. We're all bundled up this morning. Yeah, we got our flannel on. Yeah. <laughs> it actually, it's uh. It's not bad in here at all. That little heater just. Oh, that heater. It oh, does the job. It really does. But um, yeah, it's like it's colder here. I was talking to Ryan over at Thrift Mine this morning, and it was like. He's the, in New Hampshire, by the way. Right, he's up up there in yeah, almost New Canada. Hampshire. <laughs> almost, he's almost Canadian, basically. Yeah. But uh, this morning or yesterday, what was? It? It, it, they were in the fifties. I think it's dropped now. But they were in the fifties, and we were in the twenties. And I was like, man, that is crazy. But the the, front, the, the bomb, front, the yeah. bomb hadn't hit them yet. Yeah. And when they say bomb cyclone, like. I see what they mean because like that wind, that cold wind blew in. It yeah. was nuts, man. Mm -hmm. And it dropped fast last night. Yeah, we were at like we were at like fifty something last night and then around seven, eight o'clock and by midnight it had dropped. Yeah, by midnight it dropped to about to close to freezing and then overnight it got down to like twenty degrees, which is that's super cold here. Yeah. And we're actually not supposed to get above freezing today at all. Which is, uh, that's kind of weird for us. It is the day before New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve Eve, Eve not New Year's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's actually New Year's Eve 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 Eve. Eve. Well, I don't think y'all see this. It may be. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did I say New Year's? Okay. You did. <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve. Excuse me. Christmas. Sorry about that. Christmas. Um, so we are out here in the shed. We do have some orders to pull. Um, Candace is going to do a little bit of listing. We're not going to work real hard or very long today, right? Oh, yeah. I'm planning on it as long as I have things to list. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do it. Well, we got plenty of things to list. Look. I got to go through this bin of junk. <laughs> we got other stuff, too. We might too. have some treasures in there. Look at this. A hair catcher for a sink. <laughs> I got my doll all done. And look at the difference in her hair, y'all. If y'all remember what it looked wow, like. Wow, that looks great. It's crazy. But it's, How's it feel? It feels good, too, huh? Till you get to the ends where there was breakage from the knots and stuff. So you need to trim the ends? No, I'm not going to cut her hair. I'm going to I'm gonna take pictures showing it like this. And then I'm going to braid it. And that's how she's going to get shipped. Because that'll keep it from... usually That'll keep it from getting frizzed again. How, how, do, you, how do you say braid it in sign language again? <laughs> look like okay now what 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 would be the difference between what would be the difference between braid like your sign language for braiding and milking a cow let me see the milking a cow okay now braid <laughs> anyway even when i sell um dolls that didn't originally have braided hair i, I at least put like a quick braid like one big one just to keep their hair tame in during sh packaging and shipping and everything so but yeah, I'm going to show her hair um, out of the braids and then braid it and then do a picture in. Okay. Well, Candace is going to play with her dolls. Yep. And I'm going to, uh, I think we have like nine things to pull this morning. And we're planning on, today is Christmas, Christmas Eve Eve. You look handsome in that shirt. Well, you look nice in that, uh, <laughs> in your little... <laughs> your little outside it looks good like your your it's colors kind of Christmas colors huh? no your colors are good with your hair and everything yeah, yeah. you got a lot of color going on but um yeah we're going to pull these orders and we're going to work today i'm going to edit a lot of video today because we're going to take some time off next week starting starting tomorrow we're going to take a few days off um and we are going to come out here and work tomorrow a little bit uh, pull some orders if we have any and we'll yeah. probably shoot one more video and then we're going to take a few days off Christmas and a few days after that. So, yep. um, yeah, we're not, we're not planning on having a stoppage in videos though, cause we've got some banked. So hopefully, hopefully we'll make it all the way without any kind of interruption and, uh, programming. I didn't know till this morning, um, when I read on a Facebook group that the post office is not going to be open the day after. Or it wasn't open on Monday, the day after Christmas. Yeah. As, as whenever they see this. So I was thinking that, you know, we would be able to have packages going out Monday, but they're actually going to go out Tuesday. That's fine. Yeah. Give Either those way. people extra day off. Yeah. No, no, they need a day Since off. They have to work Christmas Eve. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Heck, some of them might even be working Christmas for all I know. Maybe Amazon might make them deliver on Christmas. 
They're out there delivering for Amazon every other Sunday, it seems like. Yeah, where's the delivery droids they promised? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull some orders. This is going to be a short video today, y'all. Three Bravo pulling... I forgot the name of the game already, but now I remember because I'm looking at it right here. We're pulling Street Fighter Anniversary Collection for original Xbox. I sold for... All right, so I sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. And this is an interesting order. We have... The listing tells me to go to 9 Charlie Inbox. And I think, okay, this is it here. Man, Candace, she, we didn't sell our uh, Boba Fett. Do those fit you? Uh, what do you think? I guess not. <laughs> we didn't sell the Boba Fett and uh, Baby Yoda. I did keep, uh, there There was a pair of Pennywise from it. Mm -hmm. I did keep those. Too bad those don't fit, huh? I know. Oh, I know you would keep those Oh, for I sure. was so excited when I saw those. Yeah. And then so bummed when they didn't fit. I can't believe they didn't sell. Yeah. But uh, pulling these are some base, display bases for Incredible Hulk. Diamond Select bases. Sold all three on one order for $15 a piece. So that was a really good order there. So I guess I said nine orders, but sometimes we have like multiple items on an order. So that's just one order there. And we also sold a couple of uh, Walmart pens. I'm not sure which boxes I need here, so I'll just grab all of them. So I, I think I have Walmart pens coming out of two boxes here. W66 and 168. W66 is gonna be in here. Let's see how quickly. Ah, here we go. Got it pretty quick. This is a 911 uh, commemorative or memorial Walmart pen there that sold for the amount shown on the screen. And then right after that sold, or the next item that sold after that for us in the store was another Walmart pen to a different a different buyer. And that is this little cashier pen. You, well, you can see the thumbnail there. That sold for $9.99 plus ship. CC10, we have another video game going out. It is... I actually forgot the name of it, so I'm flipping through them. Oh, no, I remember now. The Suffering? That's supposed to be over here. I think. I think it's called The Suffering. Where is it? 10... Yeah, 10 Charlie. You know what? I think I put the wrong location. I think I meant, or maybe I did, CC10. This is it right here, though. The Suffering, original Xbox game. Did I put CC10? Yeah, I did. Okay, I just went to the wrong place. $22.49 plus shipping on top for this. On 10 Charlie, more video game related stuff. So, not a wig, not a cigarette machine, but a Super Nintendo. I wonder how many people have to move their wig and their cigarette machine to get to their Super Nintendo. Yeah. Well, this one sold for $35.99 plus shipping on top. Parts only, untested. Back here on 4 Bravo, we sold a Judge Dreg card. 4 Bravo A58. There it is. I'll go ahead and pull it back here. This is a very shiny card here. Yep, that's it. Judge Death. That sold for the amount shown on the screen. I want to say it was... I believe it was $5 or so. Yeah, $5.99 actually. Plus shipping on top for that. And on 7 Charlie, we sold some My Little Pony Equestria Girls, which I'm familiar with that some. One of our daughters... Played with the, I was kind of into that. That was Sarah that was kind of into the Equestria Girls, right? Yeah. I think this is the one with this mohawk. Yeah, this is the right one. $12.99 plus shipping on top for this. And then just one more thing. This was actually in 
our uh, back stock. We went and got some stuff out of our back stock yesterday. I'm gonna quit calling it a death pile because we actually have decent stuff in there. That's a pair of Clark's boots that were in really good condition. Probably worn once or twice or something like that. Maybe, actually, these might not have been worn, huh? No, they do have, you can see they have light wear on them. What? Some, like surface scuffing, no deep scratches. It must have been like, they must have worn them like a day or two. The soles are great. Yeah. Yeah. Molly tried them on. She said they're really comfortable. Okay. So, uh, for her birthday, you can get her a pair. And they didn't fit her. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that's everything that's sold in the last 24 hours or so. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff packed. All right, got all the packages out. And now I'm going to go run some errands. I'm going to go to UPS store and a few other places. But uh, I had to show you all this photo that Candace did as the main listing for this American Girl doll. she has been talking about it. Well, y'all know. <laughs> I was dying laughing a minute ago. In case, like, shut up. Shut up. Well, in hindsight. Okay, go ahead and show them. Okay, so here's here's the photo. Normal looking American girl doll, right? Now I know she has really long hair. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Good job, Candace. Did you show them the close up one? <laughs> no, you did a close up. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, so in hindsight, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going back and taking her pictures. No, 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 keep it. It might be, this might end up being like a legendary. In hindsight, I would I should have flipped her braid over her shoulder yeah, like you that. Think. <laughs> you think, you think, Candace. But it's done and she's wrapped up, taped up in a, in plastic. I'm not taking her. All, all those, all those photos we see that we make fun of on eBay and now look at Here us. Here we are. Here we are doing we doing have, that. We have a doll with hair down there. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. How did you not? I, you even did a close up. I know. I was concentrating on her legs. <laughs> I Making sure I got her imperfections on her legs showing. Oh, good job. You gave me a good laugh anyway. <laughs> All right, I went out and ran errands. Candace ran some errands. We ate, we ate a lunch. Yeah, he wouldn't let me go with him. It's kind of a half. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> it's kind of a half off day, sort of. We're just I mean, kind of chilling and yeah. taking our time, working. No slowly. stress. Yeah. Not worried about sales anymore. We're selling a few things, though. Um, so my errand, I had to go pick up Mo Molly's last gift to pick, get picked up. This amazing backpack, um, there's a lady that's local, she's a seamstress, she does um, graphic shirts, just some of the shirts I wear she's made. Is this the lady that we did a photo shoot with a long time ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we used to do like, well, go ahead, you tell them. Molly used to do uh, boutique modeling, basically for your um, Etsy level sellers. Um, they would send her clothing, outfits and stuff, or accessories, and we would do her the photos molly would model lonnie did the photography i did like the backdrops and candace i it, set the scene it was like the big thing this is a big thing it was a big production and not a big payoff but anyway uh we do have some amazing photos of molly from that time period anyway so molly maybe did, i'll you want to throw a few in or yeah, not? we can okay so um this lady her daughter also did it so we did a joint photo shoot one time um molly was little red riding hood and we'll show you what it, well i guess not since someone else is in it uh, Molly was Little Red Riding Hood, and her daughter was the wolf, you know. They were really we awesome. Man, we worked so hard on that. Like, Candace, it was mostly just fun for Candace, I, I would say. Yeah. That was mostly Lonnie Candace's thing. Molly humored me, and Molly tolerated me. <laughs> yeah, it was it was so much work. Like, one time, we actually even, like, we built this, like, balloon, steampunk, hot, hot air balloon thing using, like, an actual... Huge weather balloon. Weather balloon. Yeah. That you could buy on eBay. You could buy, if you look on eBay, you could buy these big weather balloon things that inflate huge. Some people, as a matter of fact, these weather balloons, uh, some people will even um, fill them up with a little helium, and they'll put, like, a GoPro on them and let them go, and they'll go up, like, 60, 80,000 feet before they pop and then fall back down. 
So, yeah, yeah anyways. We'll, sh we'll show you one of those photos and a couple others. So, anyway, long story short, which never is with us, that, <laughs> the lady that she did a photo shoot with, um, that's how I met her. And she's somewhat local to us. And um, she does amazing work. She's made, like, a water bottle carrier out of some Star Wars fabric for me or a vinyl, like, kind of like the lounge fly material. And that's what this is made of. Um, it's it's um, chocolate frog from Harry Potter. Um, the little candies they would get. This is just a bigger version. So look at this work. And look how she, she did great, like. Like lining up yeah. the pattern. Um, look at the little zipper pulls. They're frogs. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And then inside. That's pretty awesome. Inside has like a chocolate frog. And then um, the wizard card is Dumbledore, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's pretty sweet. Molly's gonna love it, and it's a great little. It's a great size for her because she carries little packs like this instead of like a purse, you know. It's, and this lady did like a, she did like a pre-order thing, right? So yeah. So um, she didn't like make the panels. She belongs to like some sewing groups where people design them and produce them. So she ordered. She did pre-orders and ordered the panels, and um, pre did pre-orders for Christmas. So. But she does awesome. I bet she did well. Yeah. I bet she I bet she's doing good, huh? She um she goes to Disney and Universal a couple of times a year and she had actually ordered a set to make her own and her older daughter who's in college walked in and saw it and said, Mine <laughs> <laughs> So she's not getting one for herself, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Well I'm going to uh edit all I'm gonna do the rest of the afternoon, I'm gonna edit a few videos. I'm probably about to make me a rum and coke. Oh and edit edit while you're drinking, huh? You want one? Uh, Are you I better not yet. Okay. It's kind of early. I still need to work. Well, I'm I'm gonna work too. I'm not gonna get drunk. I'm just gonna have a drink. <laughs> I know, but I don't. Or I never drink, so I can't handle it like you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. And we will see y'all again soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.